In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to find suppliers that carry name brand products. These are also going to be authorized suppliers, which means that their invoices are going to have a higher likelihood of actually getting you ungated in certain categories on Amazon. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new to the channel, my name is Noah and I run a wholesale business selling on different platforms like eBay and Amazon. And yes, I am going to be wearing a hat in this video just because I haven't had time to cut it myself and all of my barber shops are actually closed around where I live. Now on my channel, I've made a few other videos talking about how to find name brand suppliers, as well as there are a decent amount of videos on YouTube that already go full in depth on how to find suppliers that sell name brand products. The thing is though, that a lot of these videos, including my old videos, will just tell you to go to Google and all they'll tell you is to Google suppliers that carry name brand products. With this method, you will be able to find suppliers that do carry name brand products, and you can actually find a decent amount of suppliers. The problem with this, however, is that it's actually not guaranteed whether or not these suppliers are authorized and whether or not you can actually use their invoices to get ungated for certain categories in order to sell these products on Amazon. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over one of my favorite methods, and this is a method that I use in my own business, and this is how I find authorized suppliers that's going to improve the likelihood that you're going to be able to use this supplier's invoice in order to get ungated in those particular categories, whether or not that's for toys and games, lighting, or for a certain brand like Apple or Sony or anything like that. So let's break it down into a very simple step-by-step -step process. The first step is that we are going to actually try and contact the brand or the company whose products that we want to sell. We are then going to contact the brand and ask them if we can either buy wholesale directly from them or if they can supply us with a list of authorized distributors or wholesalers with whom we can place orders with. Not only will we find wholesalers or distributors or suppliers that are going to carry products from that brand, but usually when you do this method and you get an authorized distributor, they're going to be an authorized distributor for a lot of other brands as well. And because these are authorized suppliers and they work directly with the brands, their invoices are going to be more recognized by Amazon and they're going to have a better chance of helping you get ungated in certain categories. So right now we're going to jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you're actually going to contact the brand and the entire process that I use in my business. So the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to find a brand that you wanna contact. Now you could just go off the top of your head and you can go with any brand that you can think of. So if you're thinking of Clorox, if you're thinking of any brand like that, then you can always go to Google and you can actually test out this method to see if you can start working with them. What I like to do is I like to start with Amazon and I like to try and find brands that people are already selling. Now there are a couple of different ways to do this. You can either go by different categories. So you can just type in a category like phones and you can go through there and see what brands pop up. I actually like to go to best sellers and I like to see what products from what different brands are actually selling well. So when I hit best sellers, it gives me a bunch of different categories that I can choose from. Obviously I'm not going to choose the things that are selling that are already Amazon's because Amazon's not going to let me sell their products, especially not on their own platform. But here I have a couple of games. I have some Jenga, I have some chalk, as well as I have some Connect 4. So what I would do is I'm just going to actually click into the listing for Jenga, and you'll see that it says that it's listed as the brand is Jenga. Now that's not the company who makes it, but you'll see right here at the bottom, it says Hasbro Gaming, which means that Jenga is actually manufactured or is sold by Hasbro. The next step is we would go to Google and we would actually just fill in Hasbro and we would go to their website and this is how we would find the direct contact information for the company that we're looking up. To give you another method, if you don't just wanna go like this and you don't actually wanna just contact this brand, another way that you can do it is you can look at your competitors. So you can click new and used and you can find whoever else is selling this product. So let's click on this one right here. This one has 392 reviews. So we're gonna click on his storefront and that's going to pull up his basically his policies and everything. And from there, we're going to click on products. And this is going to give us a list of all the products that he sells. So we see right here is the Jenga product that we saw before. And then we see he's selling some other products. Now, if you look on the left hand side, it's going to give you a complete list of all the other brands and products. I would take Outward Hound, I would take Kenmore, and I would just go to Google and I would type in Kenmore, and I would try and find the company's website so that we can then contact the company directly. So it's basically as simple as that. I found this company on Amazon. This company is called Prismacolor. And what I did is I go to their website. Again, you don't wanna to go to ad, and you definitely don't wanna to go to a retailer's website. We're trying to find the website directly from the brand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Prismacolor's website, and I'm going to try and find a support or an email that I can basically contact the company directly and ask them if I can sell their products. So at the top of the website, I don't see anything except support. I'm trying to find something that's going to say contact us or anything like that. So here we see something that says contact and we're going to click that. 
And also if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that this company Prismacolor is actually owned by Newell Office Brands. So that's important because that means that Newell is the parent company and Prismacolor is just one of the brands that that company owns. So what I'm then going to do is I'm literally just going to fill out this form and I'm going to contact this company and I'm going to ask them if I can sell their products. So this form is not a typical representation of what you would see when trying to contact brands. Typically what you'll find is you'll see a website and then you're going to have to email them. Now this is the message template that I am using. This is the message template that I use when contacting brands. And of course I am going to leave this in the description, but basically all you wanna say is you wanna say hello. Now, since I know the name of this brand, I'm gonna say hello Prismacolor, or you could just leave it as hello. My name is, you're gonna put your name and then your company name. I'm interested in opening a wholesale account with you. If, and then you're gonna put their contact name again. So if Prismacolor doesn't work with retailers, are there any authorized wholesalers that I can actually purchase from? Then you're gonna say thank you, your name, and then you're gonna put your company name. And you can also put your website if you do have one. So I emailed this company eight days ago and this was the response that I got. And they said, Dear Noah, thank you for choosing Newell Brands Office products. We appreciate your interest in our products. Unfortunately, we do not sell directly to individual consumers. We also do not have catalogs available for pricing information. However, most of our products can be viewed on our website and are available at most discount and office supply stores. They then say, if you are interested in opening an account with Newell Brands Office products for resale, your initial order must meet the minimum of $25,000 and $150,000 annually. Please call customer service. They then give the number or email and then they give the email that I can actually go ahead and inquire further for a wholesale inquiry. And if you are not able to meet the minimum initial order, we suggest contacting a wholesaler. So they give you two methods. They say that if you want to place a very large order, that's how you can start working directly with Newell Brands. However, if I'm not able to make that initial purchase, they then give me wholesalers that have accounts with Newell Brands. So these are wholesalers that are able to basically make those large purchases. They buy the $150,000 worth annually, and then they break that up and they sell it to smaller retailers like me. The next step is I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to literally just search every single one of these companies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight them and I'm going to actually just go to Google and I'm going to try and find the website for each of these wholesale companies to try and actually create an account and to see if I can purchase their products in order to sell on Amazon. So once you go to Google and you actually start to search up these brands, the next step is you're just going to go to their websites and you're gonna look for a way to actually become a customer. So you'll see on this list that we had one called Ascendant. When you go to Google and you click on the company's website, it brings you up to this website from there, I would basically click become a customer or I would call them up and or I would email them and I would ask them, how can I actually become a retailer for you? How can I start selling your products? Now, another thing that you wanna note is first off, you wanna go to Google and you wanna look up the company's reviews. So you'll see Ascendant and I wanna just look up the company's reviews. If they have reviews, then make sure that they're actually good reviews. Also, you wanna go ahead and you wanna match up the phone number that Newell Brands gave you or any brand that you're working with. Usually they'll give you a phone number for that wholesaler. So you'll see that for Ascendant, it was 800-888. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find that uh, phone number. So here we have the exact same phone number, which gives me confirmation that this is the company that I'm looking for. And that's basically it. That's how you're gonna go ahead. You're going to contact these big name brand companies and you're going to get a list of authorized wholesalers that work with them. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a super helpful method inside my business of finding actual legitimate authorized distributors that are going to help you get ungated on Amazon. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I make videos weekly about wholesale and drop shipping. And as always, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.